I'm about to say some things that I do not apologize for. Disclaimer, there will be a lot of profanity. And honestly, I am justified at this point. In my, it's definitely justified. I apologize if this might take a little long. Um, if this might be a little long, um, simply because I do have ADHD and I need to slow down my mind so I can try to process my thoughts in a more coherent, complete sentence. Hopefully you can still follow me, but I will slow it down so you can try to keep up. Apologize also if I start to get passionate about what I'm about to say. When I came into foster care at 13, yeah, I never thought human beings, adult human beings could be some of the most despicable motherfuckers in my life. But I didn't let that stop me because I knew that once I turned 18, as an American citizen, I would be free to exercise my God-given unalienable rights that could never be taken away from me. Why? Because I am an American citizen. I understand if a white person was saying this shit, spewing this shit, I kind of get it. You feel guilty about your white privilege. What the fuck for? You are in one of the greatest countries. And if it takes a black person going through some of the most hellish time in this fucking planet to tell you you are in a, a great country, you have nothing to be ashamed of, Get with the fucking program. But, at least from your side, I can understand why you would ever give someone who is not born here uh, the choice to do this. <sighs> to vote. I can understand your guilt. <sighs> but, that new New York City mayor, Eric Adams, that Negro, oh, you are a different story. You have got me livid. The fact you will follow that bullshit. The fact that you would follow what these white people who have no pride in being an American. You, on the other hand. If you do not know what 1870 and 1965, if you do not know why those Years are not important. Ask a black person about their history and maybe you'll understand why. 1870 to 1965. You do the math. 95 years. That's how long it took for every black American man and female to be able to vote. Something that should have been automatic on the day that we were born in this land, on this, con on this land. You had people go to the grave before they could even exercise that right. And you? As a black man, let me tell you something. It's been people like you my whole life telling me I'm a coon, telling me I'm an Uncle Tom, telling me that I just want to act white. No, motherfucker, no. I just want to live here in America. I want to be rich. I want to chase my dreams. And that's what I wanted to do. I chose science. I chose engineering. Why? I chose them because I follow black engineers, black scientists. That's who I grew up learning about. Okay? They want to say we didn't learn, know this shit. Oh, I know who George Washington Carver was. I know who Bessie Coleman is. I know who Catherine is from the NSA. Catherine Johnson. It was those people. I didn't need a fucking engineering teacher to show me to be in a class to represent that, hey, 
We do like science. No. I didn't need that. Because they came before. And because of that, I knew. I knew I could do anything in this country. Nobody was going to hold me back. Not one white person, not a black person who don't want to be black. Not a, nobody, nobody was going to tell me, was going to stop me, or going to hold me back in this country. No, not, not. I don't remember who my ancestors are. I know the shit that they had to go through. The fact that you get on board with this bullshit to let foreigners interfere in our elections after being here for 30 days, 30 days, 30 days, versus 95 years for people born here. You are literally incentivizing breaking the law. You ain't American. You don't care about black people. You're not a fucking American. And Negro, you's a bitch. Anyone who votes for this shit, anyone who is for that, you are single-handedly disenfranchising every American, especially the black Americans. Now we gotta compete with illegals? Name one country. Name one country that is exercising this shit. That's following behind America on this shit, huh? No, they, they're not following that. Because you know why? They have a sense of pride. They know what is... They have a sense of culture. They have a sense of what it is to be that nationality. And they're proud of it. I could never go to Japan. I could never be a citizen. My black ass could never be a citizen there. Name one country. We are not people of the world. We are people, we are citizens of America. And those motherfuckers are illegal. And to have them interfere with American elections, all while y'all have been saying for God knows how many fucking years, that, oh, it's the Republicans having foreigners interfere with Americans' elections. You are literally doing that. This whole entire fucking thing, this whole entire thing, this whole entire administration has been anti-American. You cut down our, you shut down our pipelines. You fucking let run Russia uh, have theirs. Your voting rights have nothing to do with Americans. It's not everything to do with those fucking illegals coming across the fucking border. You let illegals who weren't, not, not illegals, but Iraqis and Afghan, Afghanis who weren't even vetted come here. When are y'all going to start putting the American people first? Huh? What have y'all done for us? You actually have made things more expensive, more harder for us here. All oh, while well, fucking cuddling up to the enemy. What the fuck? Y'all have no pride. That y'all really didn't just fucking just tear everything down. Tear the whole fucking society down. Without any regard to what our ancestors went through. You don't want to preserve anything they did? You don't want to preserve any of the fucking sh shit that they had to get through? You're willing to just throw all this shit away. Throw all this shit away. Just to appease some motherfuckers who, won't even, who don't even respect our motherfucking sovereignty enough to just walk up in this bitch. And now they get the vote? Nah, you know what? We need new leaders. We need leaders to put America first. I'm tired of, I am so tired of this fucking liberal bullshit. You don't give a shit about Americans. And it's so evidently clear. You don't give a shit about them. Not one motherfucking said. But you Negro, Eric Adams, You make it very hard to trust any black politician. Very motherfucking hard with that fucking bullshit you said on CNN. Letting 800,000 illegals fucking vote, bitch. 
You don't give a shit. You're a fucking weak ass nigga.